Yo, what's up there guys? This is Immersive Gamer83 and thank you very much for stopping by today. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get Dying Light up and running in virtual reality on your DK2. So that's your Oculus Rift DK2 running Dying Light. The game only came out yesterday. Um, so yeah, crazy, crazy stuff that we're able to, someone's already made the hack for it already. I found out about this from a channel called VR Focus, but as yet, there's nothing actually in, well, nothing you can visually follow to do it. I'm going to be honest, it's a piece of piss to do, uh, but the support is only partial. And But what, what I mean by partial support is there's no positional tracking, meaning that the camera that you've got set up in front of you rigged up to your DK2 doesn't do anything. Basically, it's like your head's on a lollipop stick and you're looking around. Um, I, have, I am, however, uploading a video right now of my first playthrough you'll see that shit it's 15 percent done and we've got 300 odd minutes left before it's up so stick around for that and you can see my first impressions of it shortly but anyway without further ado let me show you how to edit your files so what you're going to need to do initially i'll move this out of the way because it's fucking annoying what you need to do initially to make sure i am recording yeah we are recording first of all you need to go to your steam and play it run it once make sure the game's running fine as it is so once you've got the game running quit out of it and then you'll be at this point where we are right now if you go click on this is to do windows 7 as well so i thought it might be slightly different different variants but if you go to start menu go to your documents and then if you you'll find your you dying light here so that, that that is the file you need to find in a minute okay so initially open up a word sorry a notepad once you've got notepad just like a standard notepad nothing special about it click on file open and now it's very very important change that from text to all files okay so what you need to do now that is it's remembered where mine is to be honest so uh, what we need to do I'm gonna go out of that and we'll show you how to find it again so from that you just literally go into where 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 your normal normal ones are so it'll be your username and then you've got your documents and then you've got all this stuff for your games and that so you if you if you if you've got other games installed you'll probably see other games but the main one you're looking for right now is dying light then you go in the out folder and then you go in the settings and then if you've not got this bit checked now down here like if I go back to text document you'll be not seeing nothing in there that's why it's very very important you go to all files and you'll see video okay mine's already been edited but I'm going to show you all you need to do all right so this is the special bit here it's quite a small file that file there nothing going on the only exception that's changed is this so I'm going to cut that this is how it looked like initially and then as you can see it says oculus enabled there with an exclamation mark what you need to do is copy that not copying the exclamation mark so move one in from the exclamation mark copy it you can either right click click on copy or you can just like control uh, control c will copy it but once you're down here click on that bottom line so it's highlighting right next to the, you might have a different option down there as well i've run it run the game and I've changed things so you've got like NVIDIA effects and um, ambient occlusions on I've turned motion blur off but I've left anti-aliasing on you might have different things there so the only thing you need to make sure is you go down to the very very bottom one whatever it says click on it so the cursor is right next to it on the end press enter once so you're on the very very next line down no spaces nothing at all and then if you just press control V you'll put it in so you've copied it, it's exactly the same, you need that in there, don't be getting smart thinking you can just copy that or put a one in there or anything like that because it don't work like that. You just need to leave that as it is there and add it again without the exclamation mark right at the bottom. And that is it. That is absolutely it. So once you've done that, very very important, file, save. 100% file, save. Forget that and it won't work for you. So once you've done that, click off of it, and now you will need your DK2 set up and running in extended mode. To do that, click on here, 
down the bottom open up your rift thing like that your uh, rift display mode check extended mode apply there we go that's applied that shit now so any second now I should have that again close that off and there we go so we can go into steam and we can boot the game and any second now you should see it popping up and displaying in side by side mode there we go that's now running in uh, the developmental 3D Oculus Rift mode. Let me just stop that now because it's a bit noisy. I'll just stop that. Um, ch 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 close. Right, that's gone. So yeah, as I did say before, you won't get any positional tracking, but it is playable. It's a little bit jittery. It's not buttery smooth, but it is playable. You can, won't be able to read the UI very well. The text is very small, but just to experience the world in VR, it's definitely worth trying out so i hope if you enjoyed this video if it helped in any way i'd love it if you smash that like share this shit you know to people that are going to it's going to help as well and yeah I'd, I'd if you if you're into more vr, VR content check out my channel you, you never know you might like something on here anyway that's immersive gamer 83 out cheers guys take care bye bye